Welcome to the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Whiteborny, and this is 4 times 7 is more than simply 28. Every now and then you might hear someone ask, what is 4 times 7? And you may hear someone else answer, 4 times 7 is 28. What is interesting is that this question can mean several different things. When someone asks, what is 4 times 7? What they might mean is, 4 times 7 is equal to what number? The answer to that question is 28. 4 times 7 is equal to 28. And that is an important idea. But they may also know that there are many other important ideas. So when someone asks what is 4 times 7, they may be wondering, what does 4 times 7 mean? And that is an important question. In this video, let's take a closer look at both of these ideas. 4 times 7 is equal to 28. Let's examine some ways that 4, 7, and 28 are related to each other. To begin, if 4 times 7 is equal to 28, then 7 times 4 is also equal to 28. And since multiplication is related to division, we also know that 28 divided by 4 is equal to 7, and 28 divided by 7 is equal to 4. If we look at 28 divided by 7 is equal to 4, we can see that there are several different ways to write this idea. We can write 28 divided by 7 is equal to 4 or we can write 28 divided by 7 is equal to 4, and that can be very useful. So understanding 4 times 7 is more than simply knowing that the product is 28. Here is an array. We know that an array that is 7 by 4 will have a total of 28, and we also know that we can break 28 apart into 7 groups of 4, just like this. And when we put 7 groups of 4 together, the total is 28. And we know that we can break 28 apart into 4 groups of 7, just like this. And when we put 4 groups of 7 together, the total is 28. So we can think of 4 times 7 as 4 groups of 7. You may recognize this as repeated addition. And if we count the groups of 7, we can see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4 groups of 7. And the total of 4 groups of 7 is 28. And if 4 times 7 is equal to 28, we also know that 7 times 4 is equal to 28. So we can think of 28 as 7 groups of 4. If we count the groups of 4, we can see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 groups of 4, which is equal to 28. 4 times 7 is equal to 28, and there are many more important ideas. When we look on the multiplication table, we can see that 4 times 7 is equal to 28. 28 is a multiple of 4, and 28 is also a multiple of 7. In fact, if you look closely, you'll find another connection. You'll see that 28 is the seventh multiple of 4. I'll count the multiples of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And 28 is the fourth multiple of 7. I'll count the multiples of 7. 1, 2, 3, 4. Understanding that 28 is a multiple of both 4 and 7 is very important. 4 times 7 is equal to 28, and there are many important ideas related to the number 28. As we think about the number 28, we know that if we divided it into 7 equal parts, like this, that each part would be 1 7th of 28 and 1 7th of 28 is equal to 4. And at the same time, if we divided 28 into 4 equal parts, each part would be 1 4th of 28, and 1 4th of 28 is equal to 7. When you examine 4 times 7 is equal to 28, you may notice that 28 is greater than 4, and 28 is also greater than 7. But how many times greater? Here is the answer. 28 is 7 times greater than 4, and there is another connection. 28 is also 4 times greater than 7. As you can see, there are many relationships among these numbers. So, 4 times 7 is equal to 28, and that is an important idea. But as you can tell, it's not the end of the story. There are many more relationships, many more connections, and many more ideas waiting to be discovered as we take a closer look at multiplication. This is the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Whiteborny, and this is a reminder that 4 times 7 is more than simply 28.